Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel. Jesus wants you. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Pratt. Listen, I'm going to bless your socks off tonight. Listen, when it, it, you talk about winning souls, you talk about revival. A lot of people, I don't think, can begin to understand what it looks like when revival is in the land. I'm going to say that again. I don't think you understand what it looks like when revival is in the land. Listen, I started noticing this about six weeks ago, but it's been evident. You know, the Lord said, let me, let me pray first. Yes. Let me pray first. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We bless your holy name. Lord, be lifted up. Oh Lord, Lord, you the Lord of Lord, King of Kings, the God on high. We thank you, Lord God, for the spiritual revival that is going out in the land, Lord, that you promised us 2000 plus years ago. Oh God, Lord, we thank you. We glorify you. Father, bless your people tonight. Oh God, open their hearts and their ears and their minds. Oh God, God, Lord, show us your heart in the name of Jesus concerning revival in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. Lord, I bind every territorial spirit, oh God, every opposing spirit that would try to come against your people, the video or its upload. Lord, let not I speak, but you speak tonight, oh God. Let the people be blessed tonight in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Okay. Listen. Everybody know that I'm here in Tennessee now, but it is amazing. It's, it's, it's like unreal. Like when I know that this move was God ordained, let me tell you something. When you ever know you work on a job in a, in a, in a job. And when I come through the jo doors of the building, there is pictures on the wall uh, about Christ and, and, and Jesus, this and Jesus, that. In a, in, a, in a dentist office waiting room. And, and, and when I walk by certain people are talking about God is good. And I'm glad I'm talking to you. I can talk to you all day about Jesus. This is what happens when revival is in the land. I don't think you understand what happens when revival is in the land. When revival is in the land, you get people that you greet and meet on a daily basis. And when you talk to them about Jesus, you already lit up. They light up. Up like a light and you both share in Christ and you can go in your workplace and talk about Jesus Christ and your supervisors. Hey God, thank you, Jesus. Your supervisors is, is being just woo by the spirit of God upon you. And they, and they don't tell you, Hey, you can't talk about Jesus in the workplace. Did you, they receive the Lord Jesus. And when the people walk by, they talking about Jesus, the patient talking about Jesus. When revival is in the land, all my patients that I come in contact with, they say, I can't give you a pharmacy number because I just moved here. And I'm like, what? You too? Yes. One of them moved here the same time I moved here June 22nd. I said the revival is in the land. Tennessee is called the state of the gathering. Hello, son. Somebody. Everywhere I look, there are people coming from Chicago, Florida, and all the people I meet or from somewhere else. When revival is in the land, the people, the Lord is gathering people. He's separating them, the sheep from the goats. When revival is in the land, he already knows who's his. He already knows who's going to respond. He said in the last days, when I pour out my spirit, I will pour out my spirit up on all flesh. He didn't say some, and I got to stand up. I can't sit down. Cause I'm telling you, I get moved by the power of of God when it comes to revival and winning souls. I'm all about the souls because I know how the Lord feels about winning souls because it will save a soul from hell. He didn't stretch his arm wide and hang his head low and give his spirit up to the Lord God for a soul to go to hell. Satan cannot afford your soul. When revival is in the land, it is time for man to turn to Christ. Oh, hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. When revival is in the land, you will get a man like Benny Hinn to read his Bible as he said. He said he began to start reading his Bible more and finding out the Lord's heart, what it was and about certain things. And it moved the spirit of God, moved up on him and gave him truth. See, it's the light, hallelujah, that sets people free. When you get into the word of God, if you get into the word of God, every light, all the light up on the word, it is sharper than a double edged sword and it light up any darkness that is in you, whatever you doing, if you really digging into that word with your heart and it made a man like Benny Hinn repent before the people, before the congregation, repent before the world and to say that he's not scared, a man that changed his heart and said that I can't preach this prosperity gospel no more. I got to tell the truth. I got to tell the truth because the truth sets you free. Mm. When revival is in the land, people of God, you will have huh, a man like today that was in court because a police officer shot the brother. Hello. And while he was on the stand, he asked the judge, can I just hug her? Please let me do it. Can I just hug her because I forgive her? When revival somebody is in the land, that's the kind of things that happen. And when he walked over and he hugged the policeman, you cannot watch that video and not feel love and the mercy of God. He said, I I forgave you. That is the love of Christ. And then the judge came about and said what she had to say. And I can't put it no better. I tell you right now, I'm going to play the video and let you play it. But before I do something, my sister in Christ, let me tell you something. Sometimes we will sit and we will get notifications on our phone. And sometimes when I get a notification on a phone and I will see something evil and I will say something and put some God in it and put some God in it because see the revival is in the land and people yes will come against you but that's okay your light is not hid under a bushel I'm gonna say that again your light is not hid under a bushel and then but my sister in Christ minister Chantrell Davis she told me she said you know that cop that shot a man last year she has to be sentenced today and she said when she commented on whenever it was the people came against her because she said that she was going to pray she was going to pray for that cop to have a changed heart so she could turn her life around to Christ. And people came against Minister Davis for having a heart for the soul. She didn't see her as an evil person. She saw her as the soul that can be saved and took it up on her own time to get prostrate before the Lord and pray for that soul. And let me tell you, that's why you see the brother got up and went and hugged her as she she was sentenced to 10 years, but let me show you what happens so when revival is in the land, what, what the judge the did. Because let me let right you hear it. You saw the hug and the embrace with uh, both them, uh, Jean's brother and Amber Geiger. You also saw some extraordinary grace extended by the, um, by the judge. And so uh, Jason Trahan was actually inside the uh, courtroom. And I want him to tell you exactly what the judge told Amber Geiger, because it was quite incredible. Well, Rebecca, um, that was one of the, I've never seen anything like that in 20 years covering courts. Um, after Botham John's brother got permission from the judge to hug Amber, which was extraordinary. And all the deputies, they had no clue how to handle that because that's a security concern. Um, but once once she gave that permission, the whole tenor of the courtroom changed. Um, then the judge went down off of the die, off of the bench and talked to the family. And then she went over and spoke directly to Amber. And then she got down and spoke to her in her ear. And then she got upset and she left the courtroom. This is the judge I'm talking about. The judge returned with a book in her hand. And she said, Amber, this is a, this is a, I have three or four of these Bibles. I want you to have this. And she gave her one of her Bibles to take with her into jail. 
And then she started to talk to her about the Bible. And the judge said, this is your job while you're in custody. And she turned to John 3.16 oh, and said, hallelujah. this will strengthen you. And then began instructing her on, on how she should comport herself over the next 10 years. And everybody in the courtroom is just standing there with their mouths open. And most of us are trying not to cry while we're watching this happen. Um, Amber then hugs the judge and tells her something that prompts the judge to say, um, oh, it's not me that's good. It's because I'm a believer in Christ. Mm. Um, and she says, I'm not so good. You haven't been, uh, you haven't done as much as you think you have, and you can be forgiven. She urged Amber to forgive herself. Because we heard from, te and during testimony, some of her friends said Amber had had a hard time forgiving herself for what had happened, understandably. Um, this is also the judge. She said, quote, you did something bad in one moment in time. What you do now matters. And that's how it ended. The judge hugged her again and then said, you take that with you and gave her the Bible. And Amber is at this point crying and they take her into the secure area where the felons go. And that was how it worked. That's how it ended. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho. Oh, wait a minute. Did you not hear the scripture that the Lord want us to stand out in the streets, the body of Christ, children, man, woman, old man, young man, pastor, preacher, teacher, stand out on the corner and quote John three sixteen. The judge came down and told her about John three sixteen. What when revival is in the land, when revival is in the land, this is what happened. This is what happened. Did you hear him say it changed when the judge gave permission for him to hug the policeman that killed his brother? Hello, somebody. The whole tenure of the court changed. You cannot watch that and it not move up on your heart and move you. For God so loved the world. It was love showed in that courtroom. Yes, she got 10 years. But like the judge said, she get a chance, a do-over. And if you accept Christ today, you can have a do-over. You can be recycled. You can be renewed. All your sins can be forgiven. That's the God, a great and mighty God that we serve. Oh my God, let me tell you. Y'all, that's a beautiful thing. When revival is in the land, this is what you get. This is the things that happen. This is the things that turn, even though she did a bad thing, like the judge said, you have no idea what you have done. What she have done, I mean, if you are a child of God and you're in Christ, it makes you want to be a better person. It makes you want to show more mercy to people. Hello, somebody. Oh, y'all. Mm, I don't know about y'all, but I get it's just something should move within you and give you a fire, a holy zeal. I just had to give God glory in this. This is Minister Davis took it up on herself and prayed for that. Here it is manifested in the earth realm. Manifested in the earth realm. Let me tell you something. That also... Five or six weeks ago, I was going through some things and I was at work at the time and I had to just take a moment and say, I'm going out to pray and I'm going to praise the Lord because I just kept hearing praise, praise, praise. And I went out it, it, outside in front of the building with tears in my eyes, ready to just war in the little time that I had. But on my way out the door, when revival is in the land, I heard another patient tell another patient of another clinic somewhere. She said, oh, I'm so glad to talk to you. 
that I can talk to you about Jesus. I could stand here all day and talk to you about Jesus. But let me tell you how I start my morning off in the morning before I pray. When I get ready to pray, she said, she said, I use the alphabets. And the whole time she's talking, I'm behind a wall and I'm getting ready to pray. But I'm on pause because I'm listening. I just can't believe that everywhere I go in Tennessee, hallelujah, somebody is talking about Jesus Christ. Because see, in Louisiana, I wasn't used to that. Hello. So she says, and I just use the alphabets. And she said, I say, uh, she said, she said, like, I say, Alpha and Omega, he's the beginning and the end. He's my creator and the heavens and the fullness thereof. I thank you, Lord, that you're my deliverer. You're my everlasting father. You hear the alphabets? And I said, huh, I never thought about that. I'm going to do that. So, y'all, I did it. I was like, just getting ready to pray, right? So I said, Lord, I thank you. You're the apple of my eye. You're my before in my morning. You're my before, before I go to bed. You are my creator, my confidant, my desire, my divine protection, my Elohim. Here to ease my Elohim, my El Shaddai, my El Elyon, my friend, my great and good father, my high tower, my healer, my impossible when everything is impossible. Hello, somebody. You're my J, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jireh, my provider, my king, my Lord, my Lord of Lords, my many breasted one, my mercy, my now God. You hear the end? My now God, my own time God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you are the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, my peace, my protector, my quickening spirit, my rest in the time of need my salvation my tabernacle in a hiding place my umbrella my covering in the name of Jesus from the rain from pain and storms in my life I thank you Lord that you're my victory my victory in the name of Jesus in you because in you all things are possible Lord you're my way maker you're my way out of a no way Lord you are my Zion on high who who fails me not you're my zeal every in each and every day so i just kind of just went with it if you think about that you can use the alphabets you guys and be creative and say i thank you lord that you're my you're healing my aunt the a my aunt okay and then name them. I thank you, Lord, that you're 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 taking care of my my boyfriend, placing on his heart to marry me. Mm -hmm. I thank you, Lord, that you made it possible for my that that cow, so that my me and my husband could eat steak on our anniversary. Hallelujah! I thank you, Lord, that you're my deliverance, oh God, from lust and pride and selfishness. You could do all kinds of praise out of the alphabets on many different situations you could use it for healing you could use it just to praise and lift god up you could use it in any form of any fashion be creative but when i heard this hello somebody when revival is in the land these are the kind of things that goes on it is amazing what is happening today things there is some evil going on but y'all, there is some good going on. Even though it was bad what that cop did, but she really blessed a lot of people in that courtroom and changed a lot of hearts. I guarantee you a lot of people gonna turn to Christ. A judge talking about, wait a minute. The judge, I mean, that's considered, people consider it political. You don't bring God in the courtroom. The only time they bring God in the courtroom is when can you lay your right hand? Can you say, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But she got down there and ministered to that soul, that wretched soul. Y'all, I had another video prepared, 
But this is another one that I had prepared. But it, this is just, I got to give my God some glory, y'all. I have to, I love it. I love to give the Lord glory. He has to get the glory. But this right here was powerful. It was powerful. I, I just, I hope. The Lord said he will pour out his spirit on all flesh. You're going to have people that's going to be moved by his spirit going to yield to his spirit and submit to the spirit and be saved. And then you're going to have some that's going to reject. He said he pours out his spirit on all flesh. He didn't say some, all, but who going to answer? Hmm. That's the question. Can we pray tonight for other people? When you looking at things like these notification of these news stories that come like if I see a video that somebody I mean a news thing and they got these deals now where you can come in I put Jesus all in there like, like, oh no that ain't why that happened this is why this happened y'all need to choose Christ you need to repent and you need to stop and you need to turn now is the time it is not too late you find every way to put some bait in a territory to withdraw that fish the lord says come i make you fishers i will make you fishers of men you ain't if you too afraid to be on the street go fishing around on youtube on, on, on news notifications will you minister to people minister to people at the gas station minister people on your job if you ain't scared hmm I love you guys. See you next video. Hope you've been blessed by this. Thanks.